it's Christine. It's time for Scrap the Process video. And what I have is the January 2024 Scrap Room Flavors of the Month. And the kit that came was a Photo Play Bros Amazing. And I'll be honest, normally I'd be like, what am I going to do with this? Because y'all know I got a girl. I got a grown girl. I don't have boys. Um, however, haha, <laughs> look at this. I have these pictures where my husband and my future son-in-law went skydiving last year. Um, and when I say last year, I mean 2022, because, you know, that's how time passes. And the colors are friggin' perfect, you guys. Look at this. It's not amazing. So that's exciting. And then I also have this little certificate of completion here. So I want to have this in the lay. I may attach it to the back because he has done this before. So this is not his first one. It just helps me with the date and stuff like that. Um, but the I found a pen. And I'm kind of loving this. It's um, by scrapbook. Or it's a scrapbook.com. It was in their gallery uh, in 2021. And I'm not sure if Rhonda Schmidt actually did the layout or if she just pinned it. I'm not really certain. Um, but what I love about it is this is op this is torn or like whatever and opened up and like folded open. And there's only one photo, so I'll have to kind of think on that one. But I love the way. And there's also like matted on top of you know matted and all that kind of stuff. And so what I'm kind of thinking is I've got this black, or I have this, there's a striped paper here, which I love. Ooh, this is pretty though. Oh shoot, you guys. Darn it, I had picked out the stripe. Maybe I'll get it. Anyways, maybe I'll go this route. And then this is the part I was gonna like fold open, right? So I was gonna cut this and fold it open. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. So the backside's really pretty. And then I was thinking, because this piece here has these little parts like this, I was going to use this piece as the in-between, like this. And then there's all these stickers, of course, to use as embellishments. And so that is what, um, I don't need like the gaming stuff. That's not really necessary. But there's like amazing, epic, you know, stuff like that. Totally brothers. Um, there's some cute stuff here that I think would work. 100% recommend again. That's so cool. Anyways, I'm I'm excited about this one. I was <laughs> I was so excited to find this paper in that in that scrapper and flowers of the month, and then these pictures. So that's when we'll start working on. Give me just a second. I need to trim some stuff down, and I'll be back on. Okay, you guys. I'll be real. <laughs> I boogered some stuff up in here, but that's okay. It turned out real cute. Okay, so I have trimmed down my black cardstock by half inch, and then I've trimmed down this black arrow paper by another quarter inch, and I'm like, okay, this is all looking good. I did gut the back piece, which is the white kind of confetti piece, and that's off to the side. And so I cut this, and if you remember, my initial plan was to use that black squiggly, the white squiggly stuff to put behind this paper here. Well, y'all, I should have measured that because I tear this, and I fold it back, and I'm like, do 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 everything's looking awesome and great and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I probably should have measured because <laughs> I definitely, definitely made too big a hole. Um, I do go ahead and fold these little corners back. I'll actually make those a little bit bigger in just a minute. But I go to put this back there, and I go, oh, shoot, it's not long enough, y'all. It's not long enough. <laughs> so I'm going to end up having to make some corrective actions here. Um, I mean, I even was, like, messing with this going, okay, what if I cut it? And then I just piece it together. I was thinking in my head I could use some type of sticker or something to cover up the seam. Um, and I look and I go, no, that's still not, I don't think that would have been tall enough or whatever to cover my hole. So I'm going to end up pulling out that diagonal tone-on-tone -tone black stripe. It's the back side of that squiggly paper that actually, I guess it's the cut aparts technically. And I go, okay, well, I can use this. But it didn't really offer the contrast I kind of wanted, so... And then I had the brilliant idea of using it as like the back piece and then putting the white squiggly stuff on top of it. So you're going to see me, tr you know, trim this down just a hair here. Well, I guess I make a six inch deal and I'll put that behind. And then I honestly got the idea, well, I'll just make this my pocket for my little certificate. And the certificate was too big. <laughs> you know, it's like bob and weave. My daughter says all the time uh, with her business, she says, mom, sometimes you just got to bob and weave. So Sometimes on a scrapbook layout, you just got to bob and weave. And then here, this darn ATG gun runs out of glue. And you guys, I turn off the camera so I could load the gun. And normally, I can do it lickety-split, no problem. Well, somehow, some way, that tape was either loaded backwards or I messed it up or something. And it took me a good 10 minutes to change out that goddamn tape. I finally got it, but it was a little aggravating. So here I've got my um, 
pieces. I'm just trying to, no, this is me messing with it, y'all. I think I, this is where I realized it was messed up. I'd loaded it, and I'm like, this ain't working right, so I had to go off and fix it. Um, so here's where I'm going to put the black diagonal down, tone-on-tone -tone diagonal. And again, this is kind of where I thought initially, I'm going to stick this certificate in here. But when I went to tuck the certificate in there, it's too long. Um, I guess because it's eight and a half by 11, which means you only get an inch. Well, it just doesn't, it wasn't going to work. So I'm going to mess with this just a second. Again, I think it's, this is, again, I'm trying this and you can see it's just way too long. <laughs> Y'all, I just had all kinds of dimensional issues today. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and go, okay, well, that's not going to work. So I will glue that to the back, actually, since I gutted the paper. Um, I thought, you know, that'll look kind of cool back there. So I'm just going to just pretend that's done already. <laughs> um, I'm going to map my photos in the stripe here. And I decided to go horizontal with it. And then I'm going to also double mat it in the white confetti paper. And I will scuff the edges of the mats. And I honestly... I also struggle with how to organize the photos because in my original lift or the original layout on the Pinterest page, it was just one photo. And so I thought, well, that's not a big deal. I'll just put them side by side or whatever. Well, there wasn't really enough room to do that. And so, again, I probably should have measured that side piece a little bit better. Or I should have measured. I didn't measure it at all, y'all. Let me be real. I just cut into it and started tearing. <laughs> um, I just went for it, you know. It's just one of those. So, again, I'm just scuffing the edges of these papers here. This is where I figure out I'm going to use that little white confetti as a mat. Um, I will tell you this layout also gets very, uh, very energetic and busy, um, which is to be expected in a way because the paper itself has a ton of energy, right? The arrows and stuff. So, I had messed around trying to figure out where to put the pictures. I went side by side. I went crooked and backwards and forwards and everything. And this is the orientation I end up with. I kind of like these kind of one on top of the other. And a little bit wonky, not real, real wonky, but kind of wonky. Um, and then I decided I, I, those little corner pieces, I don't think she had this, but I decided to put little brads on it. Um, so I actually got off into my stash. I had some stamping up brads and I pulled out some white ones. And I'm going to go ahead and um, put these in those corners there. And um, what do I do next, you guys? I, I kind of bone fold, or not bone fold, I use my <laughs> little knife deal there to kind of fold that over. Like I said, I kind of mess with these pictures just a minute. Oh, I do move it back and forth. This is where I'm kind of testing things. I like that a little bit, but at the same time, I wanted the guys to be on top. I didn't really want the dressing picture to be kind of the, on top. So I didn't love that. So I kind of reorganize it again, and I go back this way. That is basically how that's going to end up. Because then I thought, well, I can pop some of these stickers. So um, I do like this one here a whole lot where it says, would 100% would recommend again? Because that is 100% the truth. They both just, my husband goes, if he can go once or twice a year, he'll go. He'll go with anybody. He went with a, one of my daughter's friends who randomly said she wanted to go skydiving. He goes, I'll go. And then, like, my cousin recently was like, well, I want to go skydiving. He said, I'll go. He'll go with literally anybody. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, so that's true. And then I find this epic, and then there's amazing. And so I'm going to put one on top and one on bottom. And I like this a lot. I think this looks kind of neat. I will put some foam tape up underneath some of the, um, the edge of the uh, stickers and stuff like that because I kind of like how that looks, and I'll do the bottom one as well, and then, let me see, I think I glue these down, I have to be a little bit careful, because like I said, if it doesn't, it, it, luckily these all have like a white border on the stickers, and it helps kind of keep it separate from the pattern on the paper, because those arrows are definitely real busy, you know, I wonder if I should have made those go up and down, I don't know, because they're going up in the air and coming down, I don't know, as opposed to side to side, but it is what it is at this point, um, I got the amazing, and I'm going to, like I said, put some foam behind that. I will actually pull a little sticker out that says brothers. I guess I'm kind of thinking like brothers, you know, you're doing something dangerous together kind of deal or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to start getting into the stickers, too, because I wanted to build out on the right-hand side inside the little um, area over there, the little torn-out area. She had, like, florals and stuff. Obviously, this doesn't have any florals. And unfortunately, some of the little things just didn't make any sense. But I'll find um, on the right-hand side over there, there's going to be like rad. Oh, I think this is where I've got brothers, and I put that down there underneath amazing. I just think the color actually looked pretty good. I don't know. And then I got, I, I think I pulled the base. This is where I pull. I try bro, and I don't like where the, I don't know what it is about it. It just something didn't match. Uh, the little hat right there says bruh. <laughs> Um, I do like rad. That's going to go right there. It's going to actually come over to the left just a little bit. I'm going to find like a little tiger. This says lit. 
and I'm going to find, oh, one, uh, there's like a pennant that says strong and courageous. And then there's last little sticker that says make some noise. So I'm going to put all those kind of in that little cluster area over there. I think I'm still messing with trying to find pictures, you guys. I'm just looking at it, trying to figure it out. I kind of want that play all day, but that's a skateboard. That doesn't make any sense. So I've got the tiger down there. I've got that strong and courageous down there. This is where I've got the make some noise. And then I'm going to put these little stars on here. And I don't want to say that the original layout had this on it, had this had any kind of thing, but she didn't have two papers either. So I had to kind of make do, you know, I had to make it work. So I'm going to put stars up there, and then I'm going to put stars on the lower uh, little piece of folded back thing just to kind of get a little bit of a diagonal going on there. And then what do I do next? Um, I think I put some foam tape up underneath the edges of some stuff. Again, I'm just kind of offering some dimension on a bunch of these things on the edges of the little white squiggly paper. And then I'll put like a little tiny foam square up underneath one of the edges of the stars. And this is looking kind of neat. Like I said, I just did, I put, I did attach the certificate to the back. So I didn't really have to put the date or anything because that's on there. And I think uh, after I get the stars and stuff kind of glued down, I don't add anything else actually because it's kind of busy. <laughs> And that's all I'm going to do this layout, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do the like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm kind of glad I had this collection, though. I was really excited to use this with these pictures. I had that certificate laying on my desk. I've been trying to organize and clean. And it was sitting there, and I thought, I need to do something. And then this kind of bubbled up. And then I had the papers. I was like, oh, wow, this is all really good timing. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye.